The ECU community is reeling many at a loss of words after learning 2003 ECU graduate Shane Tomlinson was listed as among those dead. WNCT Kelly Byrne joins us now and we've heard from ECU officials who say they're sending thoughts and prayers to Shane's family. But Kelly, what else are you hearing tonight? Well, Ken, friends tell me they're remembering the time that they spent with Tomlinson on campus and those who knew him at ECU are absolutely devastated. He was a type of person that if you met him, you were never going to forget him. Gone, but not forgotten. 33 year old ECU alum Shane Tomlinson died in the Orlando mass shooting. Hi, everybody. My name is Shane, and I'm the lead singer of Frequency Band. A talented musician, his friends remember him as a star, both on stage and in his community. One of the things that I remembered about the first time that I met him, he was going down the hallway in the dorms singing really, really loud. Um, so that's kind of always my first impression when I think about him. Evelyn Billingsley went to ECU with Tomlinson and tells me he made the most out of life. We are youthful, we're bold, we're highly contagious, and we're stylish. He was general manager and lead vocalist of the group Frequency Band. He had actually spent his time living his days out to the fullest every single day. Shane was very confident, uh, very talented individual. On campus, East Carolina University says he spent his days in the cultural center. You could find him singing in the gospel choir. He has taken what he earned and learned here on campus and expanded that uh, his network of friends and then influenced them. He mentored many of them. ECU Chancellor Steve Ballard released a statement on Tomlinson's passing saying, quote, we are saddened to learn that one of our own was killed in this tragedy in Orlando. Our thoughts and prayers are with Shane's family and friends during this difficult time. His friends say he will always live with them. My last memory of him was um, we were sitting in the dorms one night. They were kind of playing with different melodies and stuff. And in that moment, I just was thinking to myself, the sky is the limit for this guy. And Tomlinson was a part of a loving and close family. He leaves behind his mother, father, a sister, and a young nephew whom he adored. Kelly Byrne, not on your side.